everyone welcome to this update i really hope you have been enjoying your wednesday thus far and we'll be looking at what is happening across the north atlantic as well as the forecast for today and also for the next couple of days because there is going to be another frontal system which is likely to bring an increase in rainfall activity for parts of the caribbean as well as those cooler temperatures so let's get straight into it we're looking at the infrared satellite and we can see that frontal system which extends all the way from that low pressure area near Canada through the Atlantic and down towards parts of the Bahamas and Northwestern Caribbean. And we're also seeing an increase in activity offshore Africa in the vicinity of the intertropical convergence zone. But aside from that, we don't see any major activity happening right now towards the Caribbean. And that has been the story for the past couple of days. As we take a look at the region, we're seeing that it's mostly these cloud patches moving by and uh, some of those cloud clusters associated with the frontal system that I just showed you guys. But overall, as I said, nothing much. The Saharan dust is still lingering around parts of the Caribbean. And this is a forecast for tomorrow. We're seeing that much of the eastern as lesser Antilles near the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. ABC Islands, much of Northern South America as well, so the Guyanas, Colombia, Venezuela, and even reaching as far as parts of Central America, Panama, Costa Rica, maybe even eastern sections of Nicaragua may experience that dust coverage. So there has been that persistent Saharan dust in the area resulting in hazy conditions and even uh, the health effects that I mentioned in previous videos. As we head into the weekend, it's still going to be a low turnaround, but may gradually decrease in quantity. We see a reduced amount as we head into Saturday night, but still a lot out there across the Atlantic. And uh, that's one of the reasons we're not seeing much on these satellite imagery, as I showed you, because that very dry, stable environment is not one to favor the development of any significant thunderstorm activity. Going on to the rainfall forecast for the rest of today, and into uh, tomorrow morning. So we are seeing some of these pots of greens and these grays popping up as well, nothing crazy. So there may be some additional rainfall activity over in parts of Central America through the rest of today, and maybe some passing showers near the Cayman Islands, Cuba, parts of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, even for Jamaica, and some spots in Hispaniola and Puerto Rico as well. And even for the Lesser Antilles, maybe a brief shower at the most, but overall nothing much expected. For Northern South America, we may see some additional shower and thunderstorm activity developing this evening. So that would include parts of Venezuela, Colombia, as well as over towards the Guyanas. Uh, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. And it's going to remain quite windy in the South Caribbean. We're seeing these blue shadings, so up to 30 knots with higher gusts. But in the north, where we have the Greater Antilles, it may not, it's unlikely to be as windy uh, headed into later this evening compared to the South Caribbean. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some model data as it relates to that next frontal system. So this is what the GFS is showing and there we have the forecast time. So that next frontal system is expected to uh, grow as we head into the end of this week and early next week. We can see all that activity, all that uh, expected rainfall across parts of the Gulf and even sections of the U.S., especially for Florida, down towards Central America and the Western Caribbean. Then as we head into Monday going towards Tuesday, there may be an increase in rainfall in parts of the Western Caribbean. And eventually, as the system continues to make its way out, it may result in some additional rainfall uh, for northern islands. Now, with that boundary passing, as I mentioned earlier, there is going to be those cooler than normal temperatures setting in to the region. Pretty much what is typical because we've had a couple of friends since last December make their way by and influence the weather across the Caribbean with the increase in those winds across some areas, those more unsettled seas, those cooler temperatures, the increase in rainfall activity. So that's been the story with the frontal systems and will likely be the same story with this one expected as we head into early next week. And then that cool down is going to be following behind it, headed towards the mid and latter part of the week. And of course, I'm here to keep you guys posted on all that is anticipated. And that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you in this updated video. And I really do hope you found it to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments. I'll respond when I get the chance to do so. And remember to always be weatherwise.